down. Belly kiyad, ratu gal kiyad, and uh, and kiyad me. What mix you do? Uh, fake powder. Huh? Four. What? Fake powder. Ah. Four, types. four four parts of brick powder, red brick powder. Then. Uh, lime mortar. Lime. Lime mortar two. part. Two parts. Uh, and two. And two. Ah, okay. Sand. So the same amount of red brick powder as total of lime and sand. This will make the color of the mix quite reddish, but when it is getting older it fades, so it gets this earth color, depending of course where it is placed in the sun or rain, and here we still have one arch which will be filled probably today here's some old lime mortar visible it's really ancient I like that finish very much Nothing gets lost, we can collect the mortar which fell down from this plastic sheet. The lime mortar stays usable much longer than Portland cement mortar. The finish of this uh, surface will not be extra smooth but uh, rather in this kind of rough appearance which is close to the ancient walls which we know today 
my mason was first surprised that I said, no, 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 we don't need to smoothen that at all. It looks nice, nice like that. And everybody got the point, got the point now. Ça fait du bien quand ça s'arrête. Now he is the perfectionist. Chutak structure, no problem, okay? Mm -hmm. huh? I need to tell him that you don't want it to be like a new wall. This finish okay here. Hey, Alwa. Eh? Oh. This one okay. Okay. Super flat, no need. Are, are. Okay? Flat. I mean. Hmm? Good luck, Satu Tui. All okay. Difficult to stop a mason from doing his job perfectly.
fait du bien qu'on ça s'arrête. Now the evening has come, the work is done for today. Here we can see the new arch with the vaulted area covered with our fresh lime mortar, tainted with red brick powder. And here we have the two new arches together side by side, also with the new vaulted covered area in lime mortar.